Welcome friends, welcome to Bankers Plus Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss lien. We know that banks generally take securities while giving loans. These securities are charged to the bank by various modes. The main modes of charging are lien, assignment, pledge, hypothecation and mortgage. Now we will see what is meant by lien. Lien is a mode of charging securities to a lender. Lien actually is the right to retain. That is, it is the right of the creditor to retain the goods or securities belonging to the debtor till his dues are paid. In other words, a creditor in possession of goods or securities belonging to his debtor can, in the absence of a contract to the contrary, retain them till his dues are paid. Such a right to retain is called a lien. The right of lien gives the power to retain and not to sell. For example, my tailor can retain my shirt till I pay him his stitching charges. But he does not have the power to sell, to sell my shirt. He can only retain. Which means that the right of lien gives the power to retain and not to sell. Also, right of lien is lost when the possession is lost. Now, let's see what's the difference between a particular lien and a general lien. Particular lien is the right to retain goods for a particular or specific dues. Whereas, general lien is the right to retain goods for any dues from the debtor. For example, take the case of my tailor again. Imagine he has stitched my shirt and pants, both. When I pay him the stitching charges for the shirt, he has to give me the shirt. He cannot tell me that he will give, he will give the shirt only after I pay the stitching charges for the pants also. This is because he enjoys only the right of particularly and not the generally. So, general lien gives the power to retain securities for any debt. But the right of general lien is available to only certain categories of creditors like bankers, factors, warfingers and attorneys only, not to everybody. So now we know that bankers lien is a general lien. Bankers lien is also an implied pledge. This means, unlike others who can only retain and not sell, bankers can even sell the securities to release the dues from their debtors, provided the bank is giving reasonable notice to the debtor. So that's, that's why bankers lien is also called as an implied pledge. But again, bankers can exercise this right of general lien, general lien only when they hold the securities in the capacity of a creditor. We know that there are different types of banker-customer relationship like a creditor-debtor, lesser lessee, bailer bailey, agent principal, etc. But the right of general lien is applicable only when the bank is the creditor and the customer is the debtor. For example, imagine that you have got two loans, loans in the bank, a term loan and a dual loan. Imagine both are overdue. Now, if you pay the amount to close the jewel loan and ask for releasing the jewel, the bankers will not release the jewel. 
because the bank can exercise a general lien bank can exercise their general lien on the jewel they will ask you to clear the dues of the term loan also before releasing the jewels this is because the bank enjoys the right of general lien the banks can exercise this only when they are holding the goods in the capacity of a creditor only that's most important suppose there are some valuables or securities in your safe deposit locker with the bank still the bank cannot claim lien on over these securities or valuable this is because in the case of safe deposit locker the banker customer relationship is that of lesser and lessee and not a creditor debtor in short bankers lien is a general lien and banks can exercise the lien when they are holding the security in the capacity of a creditor now coming to limitation bankers lien is not time barred by law of limitation banks can banks can exercise the right so long as the security is in their possession therefore bankers lien is available for even time barred debts now let's see what's a negative lien generally the bank has lien on assets created out of the loan out of the loan which is disbursed by them the borrowers also uh, may be having other assets which are unencumbered that is on which the bank does not have any charge that means the bank has not given any loan for acquiring these assets so the bank borrower is at freedom to sell this assets when they like it so the borrower may sell it if he desires so to restrict the right of the borrower banks sometimes obtain an undertaking from the borrower to the effect that they will not create any encumbrance on these assets nor sell them without the permission from the bank so whenever they are giving loans they get a letter like this that even the unencumbered assets will not be sold without the permission from the bank this undertaking is known as negative lien negative lien actually is in the form of a personal undertaking only it is binding on the borrower it is binding but at the same time it does not confer power on the bank to proceed against the assets of the borrower if you liked this video please subscribe to our channel bangladesh plus academy